This is without a doubt one of the most grisly and horrific murder cases that I have ever looked at on my channel before. Today we are in Norfolk, Virginia visiting the grave of Kathy Bonney. If you recognize that name Kathy Bonney, her murder actually did garner nationwide attention. Today we are in Forest Lawn Cemetery to take a look at this horrific case and pay our respects to Ms. Kathy Bonney. Thomas Bonney was described as a strict and controlling father. He never allowed his children to date, and it was said that he was susceptible to mood swings regarding religious topics. When Thomas Bonney found out that his daughter Kathy was having an affair with an employee of his, it sent him into a rage. Kathy Bonney was born August 6, 1968 in Norfolk, Virginia, and that is where we are today. We have made our way to Forest Lawn Cemetery to tell her story and pay our respects to Kathy Carol Bonney. Tom Bonney was so obsessed with creating a certain lifestyle, lining up with his dreams and own personal convictions, that he would do the unthinkable when he perceived that his daughter Kathy was not contributing to that. The day before Kathy's death, her father found a letter in her room describing an affair that she had with a married man. Tom Bonney left with Kathy on November 21st, 1987, telling her that he wanted to look at a truck for sale. This led to an argument between the father and the daughter regarding her affair. In a fit of rage, Tom Bonney shot his daughter 27 times and dumped her body just across the North Carolina state border. The following morning, Tom reported Kathy missing. He had told the authorities that Kathy had taken a car for a test drive and never returned home. Police found her body around 3 p.m. The autopsy revealed a total of 27 wounds to her head, torso, and legs, some of which occurred even after her death. Upon questioning, police began noticing inconsistencies in Tom's version of what happened. In December, based on a tip from Kathy's younger sister, police identified blood in Bonnie's car matching Kathy. Traces of her hair were also found. Tom fled on December 11th. He was captured in Indianapolis on January 11th, 1988. Upon his return to North Carolina, he was examined by Dr. Paul Dell, a psychologist who would diagnose him with psychological trauma. During his trial, much of the proceedings centered around his mental state. His attorneys claimed that he should not be held guilty by reason of insanity. A psychiatrist for the prosecution contended that the original diagnosis was not performed properly. A jury eventually found him guilty and sentenced him to death. The verdict was appealed and the death sentence was vacated. The guilty murder verdict remained and he was eventually sentenced to life. Bonnie escaped at one point by hiding in a trash compacting chute and visited Kathy's grave. He was apprehended. The 1995 television movie Deadly Whispers was based on this event. The case was also featured on an episode of American Justice and in the first season of Swamp Murders, Multiple Personalities. Uh, stories like this for me are just hard to tell. I do feel that it is important uh, to tell stories, even sad and, and horrific ones. And I want to honor the life of Kathy Bonney today. And, you know, this, it sounds to me like, and, you know, I'm not an expert on the case. I just know what I've researched recently. But you know, it sounds to me like that it would be nearly impossible to have lived up to that father's impossible standards. So I want to honor the life. There was a, a young life lost here and never want to fail to honor that and, you know, acknowledge that. So I do want to um, pay our respects to Kathy Carol Bonney today. Uh, based on my research, I, I do have reason to believe, I didn't uh, dive too far into it, I've got reason to believe that Tom is still alive. I don't know if any of you all are familiar with the case. If you are, I would love to know um, more about it, um, if there's any information that you all have that I didn't cover. I didn't get very, very deep into it. I know there are some things that go a little deeper. I didn't feel that I should do that on my channel. I just wanted to give an overview of what happened. and. 
you know, we've took a look at, at the crime and we've, you know, set aside some time to do that. But right now, I do want to set aside some time to pay our respects uh, to Kathy Bonney and honor her memory uh, here today. You know, the main goal of my channel, one of the main goals is to look at history and tell stories about the events that happen. And, you know, this just goes to show, and we all know it, but this just goes to prove that, you know, not all events are happy events. But I am glad that I was able to pay my respects to Kathy Bonnie today, just a life cut short. So thank you all for joining me here in Forest Lawn Cemetery. I am going to leave links uh, in the description where you can find me, my social media accounts. Uh, I love to interact, so uh, feel free to swing by and leave me a comment, and I do my best to answer all the comments. If you haven't subscribed, maybe this is the first uh, video of mine that you've seen, I do ask that you click that subscribe button and join me on future journeys. Once again, thank you all for watching, and from Forest Lawn Cemetery in Norfolk, Virginia, I will see you again soon.